we're trying to make the firmest, fastest putting surface that we can for our members. And this is the best way for us to modernize our greens without doing a complete rebuild. You know, ours are original push-up greens, which means that basically they took the collective soil that was around these areas, pushed it up to create the green surface back when they did this. Some of them were done in the 20s, some of them were done in the 50s. Back then we were trying to get water to sheathe off the greens. So if they didn't have uh, the sand in them to receive that moisture, that was okay. For us, it's always to just try to make that, that soil medium that much better. When you're going through an air refining, you're gonna get greens that are much faster. You're gonna get greens that are slicker. You're able to maintain them. You're able to cut at a lower height um, versus greens to where you've got that thatch layer that's on top. And with that thatch layer, you're typically gonna get a slower green. This plant, it'll naturally crowd itself. And if you're not taking out that organic matter, that's when you build the thatch layer. So you need to eliminate some of that material. We're deep tining at like 10 to 12 inches. So what it's doing, it's fracturing that soil, allowing water to move down even further. It also allows the moisture to bridge out into the drainage that's there and out of the green faster, ultimately making a firmer surface for our players. What we do then is we'll put our amendments out. We use KCS Plus from Plant Food, which is a great potassium product. Also calcium, which allows the, the water to move through the surface a little bit better. We also throw some carbon in there just for more health for the plant. After we do that, we'll airify on top, leave all the cores up on the surface, and we'll then go with a machine and drag all the soil off of that, that airification plug back in there and reestablishing that. 12 years ago, our percentage of organic matter was three, four percent, which is really spongy. And you're gonna feel that when you play. You're not gonna have that bounce and release. It'd be more of a smush. Now we're at 1.8 to 2.1 percent organic matter in our grains, and that's where the firmness sets in. Aerification is probably one of the more impactful things that members can visually see. However, in the long run, it is going to make their course that much better. It is going to make their experience for their guests that much better. And overall, it's gonna keep their course healthy for the long term.